this particular orchid. These are the roots of this orchid. This orchid's been on here for a couple of years and it's pretty happy on this particular tree. And there's essentially chemistry going on on this kind of tree. You'll notice that the, the fungus and creatures that are growing on this tree um, are creating a natural environment for orchids. So for example, over here we have um, a lemon tree, we have um, a grapefruit tree over here, and those are excellent mediums for orchids um, and the orchid chemistry that goes on between the roots and the bark of the tree. The guititi in particular, um, which is this, this is an example of, uh, this is a very happy orchid, will basically allow this uh, chemistry to occur in the natural environment. We have a number of guititis up in the garden that create that natural environment for orchids. So they can grow on a cut piece of guatiti or on a live piece of guatiti. Okay, uh, over here we have a little grove of plantains. This particular plantain is the quadrado. And it basically grows almost like a square and plantains are a staple of the diet in Costa Rica. Uh, you will find them at lunches in the form of platano. You will find them as desserts um, in a slightly more riper form. And this particular one, the cuadrado, which is uh, very unripe yet, uh, is uh, an excellent um, plantain for uh, eating. This is the flower of the plantain. And then this basically is the beginning of the stalk. And this has probably got about uh, three months uh, to go or two months to go before it is ripe and ready to eat. The Pura Vida was originally a coffee plantation some years ago. And this is an example of a coffee bush. The red beans are ready for uh, picking. And this is what you want on perfect coffee and this is what Costa Rica is known for. This particular uh, bean you can cut open mm, mm. the inside is delicious very sweet and tasty and ready to go and the beans inside each uh, coffee bean you'll find two little beans and basically this is the basis of all the coffee that is drunk at Starbucks today. Mm -mm. Delicious. Mm. So these uh, get separated. Uh, they get fermented to remove the, uh, the sweet uh, textured, uh, I don't know what it's called, material over the outside. And then uh, dried in the sun. And then eventually roasted and turned into beautiful coffee. The coffee plant. Okay, this is a beautiful uh, red grapefruit tree. We're right behind the Mariposa Casita. And this is a perfectly ripe red grapefruit. As we mentioned earlier on, you'll notice that the uh, grapefruit tree is covered in a kind of a mold that also makes a marvelous uh, host medium for uh, orchids. And behind the grapefruit, you will also see another form of uh, plantain. We have about four or five different plantain species in the garden and also some uh, various banana plants. I just want to introduce you to this uh, strange looking fruit. This is the cas. We have a couple of cas plants in the garden. This particular plant, this particular fruit is used um, throughout Costa Rica as um, a lunchtime drink. Basically this is um, uh, peeled and then uh, blended and perhaps added with milk, a little ice, and you will find this a lot at lunchtime um, in Costa Rica at all of the uh, sodas where lunches are served. And this is the uh, cast tree right here. This is the chayote vine and this is the chayote fruit, let's say, vegetable. You basically chop this up and it's served at almost every lunch in Costa Rica as part of the casado. And this particular one is pretty much ready to go and ripe. In Costa Rica we have really two forms of mangoes, the mango and the manga. 
This is the mango, which is the very small mango, very sweet, very tasty. And we have about six different mango trees in the garden. And this is one right up here, the mango. This here is a beautiful lobster claw heliconia, a baby lobster claw. There are different varieties of lobster claw, but this one uh, is a fairly small one. And we have heliconias all over the garden in different places. There are thousands of varieties with amazing shapes, amazing sizes, beautiful colors, and this is one of them. Uh, the rat's tail, this, this plant right here. This in Spanish uh, is called rat's tail. And it basically flowers all the way up the stem. And every day it will show a new flower coming up this stem. And this is the current condition of this particular rat's tail. Not a great name, but a fabulous plant for uh, hummingbirds. This is a ground orchid over here. We don't have too many of these. You will find these usually at higher elevations. So this particular ground orchid, um, actually we got this up in the Arenal area and planted in the garden. Uh, this over here is a uh, beautiful There we go. It's a beautiful passion flower. In the garden, we have a number of different passion flowers. This is a non-fruiting variety, a beautiful flower, excellent for bees. And uh, further up in near the top of the hotel, we have three or four varieties of fruiting passion fruit, which have a similar flower. Um, but have a uh, edible fruit that we serve at breakfast. Right behind here we have sugarcane. And this is where the raw sugar of Costa Rica comes from. Right here. Now, usually we don't use the top of the sugarcane, but this is a sugarcane and it's ready to go. Little sweetness. Usually use the base of the sugar cane, not the top. This top was already broken, so we just cut it off. And so that's sugar cane.